Hello everyone and welcome back to Lux and Wine. My name is Caitlin if you're new here and today I have a very special video. I have an unboxing of some of the things that I picked up on the anniversary trip that my husband and I took. We went to Waco and I did upload a previous video of my haul from Magnolia Market because we went and did Waco first. So we did Dallas on the way back. And in Dallas, um, I went shopping at Highland Park, which I had never done before. And then we also went to North Park and did a couple of other things. Okay, so like I said, I've already shown the Louis Vuitton stuff in a separate video. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below for you. We went to a few places. We went to Valentino. We went to St. Laurent. So I went to a ton of different stores, but most of these things I had kind of chosen previously. So we'll start with the St. Laurent because it is pretty simple. Um, this is a huge bag, by the way. I had wanted the Chanel espadrilles and I actually went to Chanel and I tried them on and they were so uncomfortable and so heavy. I went to Nordstrom and tried the Gucci ones and the YSL ones. The problem was Nordstrom did not have the nude YSL ones. So I went online and looked and then called the store in North Park Shopping Center and they ended up actually having them and they fit and they are so comfortable. So let me show them to you. So spoiler alert, they're espadrilles. They come with their own little dust bags and I have worn these already. So you guys might've seen these on Instagram. I have a picture of me shopping at Nordstrom wearing them. So this is what they look like. And I have the tissue paper in them still so they keep their shape and it kind of reduces the creasing, but I absolutely love them. They were a lot cheaper than the Chanel version. That's for sure. And then I also got these from Macy's to wear in them because I just didn't like the idea of being barefoot in leather shoes. It's just kind of gross. So these work perfectly and fit and don't show under there. You can get these at Macy's and they're by and they're really pretty and expensive and it's three for 16 and then usually uh, Macy's coupons work with this so I picked these up at Macy's highly recommend them if you do get any of the espadrilles this would work with the Chanel or the I think this would work for the Gucci I really liked these and I thought they were simple and understated more understated and lighter weight than the Chanel so I'm really happy with those so Saint Laurent is actually located in North Park. They were located in Highland Park, which if you're not familiar with Dallas, North Park is the big mall where all the expensive shops are. And Highland Park is kind of a outdoor shopping center where a lot of the luxury brands that are not in North Park have their locations. A lot of these places used to be in North Park, but they've kind of moved out. So Valentino actually moved out to Highland Park. I think it was about two years ago. So um, I went there specifically to get another pair of rock studs and ended up, um, with a lot more than I bargained for. So let me show you. This is my new da -da -da, rock stud tote. So I'm really excited about this, you guys. So I've been looking at one of these for a while um, as a work bag. So you guys know I use my Neverfull GM as a work bag and it does work really well and I really like it but I did want something a little bit smaller because the GM is massive. In fact, maybe I'll get it so you guys can see. One second. Okay, so here's the Neverfull GM. This is quite a bit smaller. Let's see how wide this is. So it's a lot more narrow. This is, can still fit a 13 inch laptop. So I'm really excited. It's also, um, it's a little bit heavier because this is all leather versus this canvas with leather detail. And then of course this one, I do have an organizer for, which I've shown you guys before. So Smorga discontinued the organizer I have in here, which is the one that has a laptop sleeve right there. So I looked at going with Original Club and I actually talked to Smorga about having that one custom made and they just basically said, sorry, we don't do that anymore. So I was really disappointed because I had already purchased this bag thinking I'm just gonna get this Morgan organizer for it only to find out that none of the major organizer companies make an organizer for this bag. So not only do I have to have one custom made, I especially have to have one custom made with the laptop sleeve and some Orca wouldn't do it. So I reached out to Original Club and I'm currently working with them to have an organizer made for this bag, which actually is gonna end up being cheaper and get here faster anyway. I had been wanting to try something from Original Club um, and compare them to Smorga because I've heard like, really great things that they're pretty comparable and again, cheaper and you get things a lot faster. They do have some things on Etsy, but I didn't realize that they actually have a separate website as well. So you can actually go through their website and see a lot more items. Their website is also significantly more user-friendly than Smorgas. So I'm really excited to work with them and hopefully get the organizer that I want for this bag. When I do, I will show you guys and it's going to be awesome. So I'm really excited. So I'm really happy with that bag. And uh, my sales associate 
was awesome. So I originally went to Valentino with the intention to buy another pair of shoes. So I already own one pair of rock studs. These are the pair that I currently already own. I have them all packed up because I was traveling with them. That is the pair that I already own, which is the classic rock studs in the noir color. And I absolutely love them. So I knew I wanted to get another pair. Okay, so these are actually my very first luxury purchase. Um, I bought these in 2016. So I have always wanted a pair of Valentino Rock Studs. I absolutely love these. The only issue I have with these is they are so, so high. I do wear them. I also have some heel caps for them and things to kind of keep them looking nice. And I've also had rubber added to them, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. But anyway, so I knew I wanted to get another pair, but I wanted to get another pair that I could get a little bit more wear out of. I got a pair of shoes. I will say Valentino, the only thing that I don't like is that the dust bags are one dust bag. So you do get extra studs. Should the unfortunate event occur that you would have to replace some studs. So these are the lower heel. This is the nude color. I think the color code is P45. So I'll link them down below because you can totally get these online. But you'll notice they're kind of a little bit more of kind of a purpley nude. And so you'll notice these are my uh, Sam Edelman nude shoes that I got recently. So they are completely different from the Sam Edelman ones, which again, these are really more of an everyday shoe. They're not super expensive. So I'm not really worried about them. I will wear them more than I wore these black ones just because they're a lower heel, but they are completely different as far as the color. So you guys can see the color is very different. These are definitely more of a kind of a taupey nude versus this is more of a yellow nude. So I got these rubberized. So again, we'll talk about that in a second, but I do want to show you one more thing that I got that was completely unexpected. Okay, so I got one more pair of shoes and these were completely unplanned purchase. So I saw these when I walked in and I thought they were gorgeous, but I didn't really give them a second look because they were um, kind of fall looking and I was like, oh, I'll just get them later or whatever. Well, then as I was working with my sales associate, he was like, oh, by the way, this whole wall is 40% off. Come again? These were 40% off, y'all. Like I knew that you could get Valentino on sale before. I've seen it a couple of times, but I did not know you could get Valentino for 40% off. So really exciting. Now these, these ones are part of the permanent classic collection. And this one also is like a permanent classic color. So it's not gonna go on sale, but these will. Very exciting. I got these beauties which again, a little bit high, but these are definitely a special occasion or where to work during the fall, but they're absolutely gorgeous. Let me get them closer for you. So you can see these are studded and quilted, almost like Valentino and Chanel had a baby. And I don't feel like the color is coming across on camera, but these are a really deep, wine color and I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So I wonder if I put them up against the black. Now you can see it a little bit better. So they're definitely kind of a deep wine color and they were for Valentino. None of this is really a steal, but for Valentino, they are very, very well priced. And I actually think he told me they were 40% off, but I actually think I might've paid a little bit less. So these are the ones I got. So then, after I got these, um, we were talking about how I really baby my black ones and I had been using Invisishield style protector that was like a plastic bottom protector to make sure that I didn't mess up the bottoms. In Highland Park, there's a shoe repair shop called Dino's. And Dino's has been there since long before any of these prestigious shops were there. And they've been doing shoes for a million years. Dino's of Highland Park, Highland Park, and actually it doesn't say on here how long they've been there. So the sales associate Valentino and actually um, several other associates within Highland Park, everyone kept talking about Dino's. And I was like, okay, we clearly have to go to Dino's. So I went over to Dino's and asked about having rubber put on these. They actually do it and they have um, very, very high quality rubber on kind of a wheel and you can choose which color goes best with each shoe. This pair, they took off the plastic and they said it'll also help with tip wear. And then of course they do the heels and then Dino's also does the stud repair, which previously I hadn't found a shoe shop that does that. Also, FYI, if you would like to use Dino's, you can, if you're in the Dallas area, drop off with them, even if you don't live there, and they will ship um, your shoes back to you. And I think they said it's like $15, which is totally worth it because I would not drop off shoes that's expensive with just anybody. And it took about a little less than a week and a half to get done, and I had these done, which these were super easy. These are a black rubber. As you can see, it's really nice, and it's 
a clean edge. You would just never know that the shoe did not come like that. They're, they look absolutely incredible. And then they actually file the edges just slightly so that it's still smooth there. And then I had both of these done as well. And both of these were done in kind of a tan. Yeah, these ones were a slightly lighter tan, but they I had them do the same tan on both. Um, and so you see, it's a really good, good match. Probably should have gone a little bit lighter on this one now that I'm looking at it on camera. But either way, I think it still looks really great and I can always have it changed when I go back to have them done again. So after you get, after you wear these for a while, generally at the same time that you're gonna be doing the heel, you may have to do the sole again. Now I do have another pair of shoes that had had this rubber sole before because this is way cheaper. It was $50 a pair, so it's about $150 for all three pairs. This is so much cheaper than having shoes resold. Having shoes where you have to take the whole sole off and redo it, really expensive. And then of course, you really have to send them to Valentino for that because see all of Valentino's stamping is here and it really is hard on the shoe and it's just not something you want to do. So to prolong the life of your shoes that you've invested so much money in, get the rubber. Like I said, find a really good cobbler or if you're in the Dallas area, you can go to Dino's and they'll do it for you. And so I'm really happy with that. They turned out beautifully. And since, you know, dropping off brand new shoes at a cobbler is also really disconcerting, but I can tell you there's not a mark on anything. They are fabulous. So I'll put them in the description box below. You guys are interested in checking them out. And that's again, Dino's in Highland Park. And then the last place that I went was a place called Luxury Garage Sale. So Luxury Garage Sale is very much like Fashion File. They only have two physical stores, but unlike Fashion File, I mean, unless Fashion File has changed, I visited the Fashion File store in San Francisco. It was about two years ago and the door was locked. They had to buzz me in and there was like maybe 15 bags in the showroom if there was more than that, I'd be surprised. And basically they were like, this isn't really a showroom, which I was really confused about. I just figured it would be like most of the consignment places where you walk in and you can see a lot of the things that are online. They don't keep everything out or a lot of things in the boutique. So, okay, I understand that. So I was just kind of disappointed by that. However, luxury garage sale did not disappoint. So Luxury Garage Sale only has two locations. So they do not have a huge selection like Fashion File, but I think their prices are way more competitive. Quality is just as good. I think they're significantly more, um, they're more stingy with their excellent ratings because I saw some things that were listed on their website in very good or good condition that to me were what I would have seen as excellent condition on Fashion File. So I think it's a very equivalent place. There's a location in Dallas, and then there's also a location in Chicago. So if you live in Dallas or Chicago or are traveling to either location, I highly recommend popping in. So I popped in and got two things from them for a really great price. So the first thing I'll show you is actually, I've already been using it, so it's not wrapped anymore, but it is this beauty right here, which is, a PM Agenda in Damier Azure. You can see it does have a little bit of a blue stain on there, but other than that, it's in really, really good condition. And I've already got um, some stuff in there. The inside is in great shape. And then I ordered some inserts. I think these are Filofax inserts. It's just plain lined paper. I got these off Amazon and I think it was like $5 and there's the back of it. And it did come with the Louis Vuitton inserts. I think they were some phone number things from 2000, I think it was 13. So this is an older piece from a limited edition collection. I believe this is from the trunks collection, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I think it's in beautiful condition and you can even see the snap still looks perfect. I was so, so happy with this. And these are normally a little over $300. I wanna say I paid 150, so I think I paid about half of what this originally retailed for. And it's limited edition, so you know it's worth a little bit more. But they were super reasonable, especially since it had the little blue mark on it, which again, you know, I'm not totally happy about, and I probably could get off if I wanted to use harsh chemicals, but I did ask Dino's about it, and they said they do not recommend attempting to get this off with harsh chemicals, because they said if somebody is working on this and you take stuff off, because this pattern is actually technically painted on, they said a lot of times people end up having to repaint some of these pieces. Pieces. So they said it's really just not worth it. Just let it be and I was like, that's fine It's not that big of a deal to me And then it also means I don't have to baby it so much as like my new Dami Azor piece So again, I absolutely love this and I just thought it was such a great find And then the other thing I found there which I had not seen online I hadn't seen this online either and like I said, they have a nice showroom and kind of like Fashion File They have their own luxury garage sale. So they have this the shopping bag and then they have their own dust bag 
So I got their dust bag because they didn't have the original dust bag for these. And these are, hello, these are, I got another pair of Valentino shoes. Only these are flats. And so I found these, I'm a size 38, and I'm normally a 38. So these are actually a 38. These are a 38 and a half, because I am on the edge between 38 and 38 and a half. And then these are a size 38. I probably could have worn a 38 and a half in these, but they didn't have them. I think because they're velvet. And again, this is like leather and velvet, it'll stretch out a little bit. With the patent, you don't have that kind of give, so you want to go up half the size. And then these are a 38, and these are actually almost could be slightly big for me. So I think the flats run a little larger. So if you're in between sizes, I would go down half a size in these, but because obviously they didn't have that, they only have the one. These are black with a really cool, kind of a reddish rock stud and kind of a beige. And then whoever owned these previously also had rubber at. These have a rubber edition. These were not done by Dino's, I can tell, but they were done really well. And then these also, you kind of have to watch because you gotta make sure you get your heels done. So the flats have to have their heels done the same way as the heels do. But just, obviously you don't have to have these done usually as often. I still need to kind of wipe out the interior with some water wipes, but these were in really good condition. I don't know if you guys can see. There's a little bit of leather imprinting on this one. I don't know if you can see it in the light. There's a little bit, but they are really in great condition. And the girls at Luxury Garage Sale said that they do not take things in questionable condition. And most of the things that they take for consignment have to be rubberized. Checked on Fashion File first. It does not affect the value of the shoe. So it's not like if you have some type of funky repair done or sometimes people don't like treated vachette leather. So if you like spray your Louis Vuitton, some people might have a problem with that because it patinas differently. But in the case of the shoes, it does not affect the value if you add rubber to them. So I highly recommend doing that because again, when you're spending that much money in shoes, you want them to last for a long time, right? Or at least I do. I mean, I live in a world where I buy these things because I can keep them forever. And if for whatever reason I decide I don't want to keep them forever, then I can resell them. Anyways, that's everything that I got from that trip. Well, everything on this round of the trip, the rest of what I got on that trip, you guys will see the Louis Vuitton haul and then the Magnolia hauls. So there are actually three hauls that follow the vlog from the trip that my husband and I took to Dallas and Waco. So this was a really epic trip and we had budgeted for this. I was so blessed that I got to do this. I will not be making <laughs> like this many purchases that are this expensive simultaneously again, probably for a very, very long time. Like I said, as soon as I figured out we were doing this, I set a budget and saved for it. And so these were on sale and other shoes were pre-loved and this was pre-loved and, you know, I really, really ended up getting some great deals and I'm really happy with everything that I purchased. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I purchased from the other video or from this video. Favorite pair of Valentinos and make some suggestions too. I'd like to keep my eyes on another maybe fashion color. I don't think it'll happen this year, but maybe next year, but I am maybe keeping an eye on some colors that might go on sale or clearance. So leave a color suggestion in the comments down below. I'll also keep an eye on the pre-love market. That's a really great place to get the fashion colors of Valentino shoes. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you subscribe. Don't forget, I see so many people are enjoying the videos, but make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more videos. I do upload on Mondays and Fridays. So I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.